Happy Mail time. Yay. From Louisa Heinzel. Yeah. We let's will. Go, let's go topside. Okay, so, hey, look at this, dear Mariah and Patricia. Those items you have to use for our YouTube challenge. Have fun. The rest, use as you like. Okay, so in the little packet. That's the absolute Okay, we were getting we were getting a little worried because <laughs> it's like, wow, that looked like a, that's a much bigger box than what we had sent. Oh, oh see, and I want to be really careful. I know. Don't don't mess that up here. <laughs> Keep, oh. I stuck the, the clippy the, to clippies. it. I certainly love the color choice. Yes. Right, and this is. Oh. What is it? It's the flower of Austria. It's a. Um, here, you pronounce that. Sorry, I squirreled on Edelweiss. that. Edelweiss. Edelweiss? Edelweiss, I think. I, I don't know for sure. Okay. I, I don't want to mess this up either. Oh, Look and at it's this like paper the real clip. thing. I think she altered that. Ooh. This is very lovely. Little belly bandy kind of thing we can use. Love that. Okay. I like this washi tape too. I'm gonna put that. Okay. Love that. It's very soft. Mm. Oop. Little things falling out. Oh, that's very pretty. And that's. Oh, she eco dyed this. Whoa. Gaijin. It's very pretty. I love the colors. Yes. And and then she, look, she even stenciled a little goldy. You see it? Uh huh. I do. On top there. Oh, we love it, Louisa. Very nice. Okay, so this is the stuff we have to we use. We should keep that in. in. Yeah, I'm going to put it back in. And then coming up here. Here's all the stuff that uh, Louisa was just really nice enough to send along. Some good stuff. Some good stuff. And she was kind of funny and sent us these uh, prints here. And she said if anybody could, uh, what, what did you, it was a really cute little note. It was a cute little note. It said that it, it failed prints that it, if yes. there was anyone could do anything <laughs> to them, it was It was her. Yeah, yeah pink. Uh, she has a lot of faith. Hey, right, now I did, so those little tags that I just flipped through, you'll see those coming up. Those did make it into the journal. Um, tons of awesome kind of boho -y yumminess. I'm going to have to go through that again. Buttons and all of that. I put that Laura on. Laura was kind of stashed with that. <laughs> she put that away right away and didn't let me look through it. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what I was doing. <laughs> I noticed that the eco prints went somewhere and I didn't see those. And then we ended up looking for them and then I used some others. Which was totally fine because this has been kind of a... What was funny is we ended up using a lot of awesome things that other people sent us to, like through Happy Mail and things. So it's kind of like the little Happy Mail accordion journal is what yeah. we're about to see here. It's a compilation. Yes. <laughs> Happy Mail compilation. And here's a little sneak peek to what I will be making in the upcoming process video here with our uh, stuff that Louisa Heinzel sent us. Little sneak peekies there, some gel printing and such, all that goodness. Right nice there. little catch thing. There. Yeah, yeah. So this is the little preview. This is a little bit different of video, but we do appreciate your support, and the easiest way to show it is by liking and commenting. So now let's get started into the process video. Hello, this is P. <laughs> this is M. <laughs> and together we are P. Yeah, Marty Studio. Studio. And here we oh, are. The little box was not No, used. it didn't make it because, like, once again, it's kind of like making salad. You really should have gotten a bigger bowl. <laughs> <laughs> That's how P makes salad, for sure. Yes, I always start with the big bowl. The biggest one. <laughs> you can toss it. It's easier yeah. to work with the big one than it is to try to get something in a small one. So, you know, it was a good thought. I have the little boxes one of these days. Something will happen and I will stay true to it. I'm, I'm terrible about the box thing. Like I want to use it, but it never ends up fitting the one that I have. So I have to work on that. Now, these were the pieces and parts and things that Louisa had sent in the envelope to be used for our little swap and make. 
um, she will be making something with some things that we sent to her and you'll be able to go over and check out what she did over on her channel uh, there'll be a card at the end of the video so you can click that link once we're all done here because we want you to stick around and see what we made I ended up having this leftover uh, what was it watercolor paper and so I wanted to make sure I had the, the right amount of pieces and so I ended up kind of filling the other panel by using our <laughs> lovely paint swatches that we picked up at the hardware store this was also one of the other things that Louisa sent in the just the regular box of stuff which was these three or four different colored cheesecloths. Yes, I love this. Yeah, and actually he was like, where did that come from? I was like, that was in the box too. Yeah, but see, Mariah took all that stuff away right away. Yeah, Jeez. it's called putting it away. Yes, that is true. <laughs> I put it away. Oh, that's what she says. That's what I I think said. she hides things from me. I feel sure she does. Well, I know She you... even hides my stuff from me. Oh, you hide things from me too. Don't even... <laughs> Not intentionally. <laughs> Not intentionally. Yours are intentional, Mariah. Mm -hmm. Were you worried about that one little place where you overlapped? No. Not at all. I purposefully did it. Mm. Why? Did it bother you yeah, somehow? I, it was, yeah. I, I'm concerned about it now. You're concerned about it. I am concerned about it. Mm. See? So I was still checking and making sure it was going to fit the box at this point in time. <laughs> <laughs> box is like still in play. <laughs> the box is still in play. Oh, and hey, a little sneak peek of, if you want to go see that video. I'll put, oh, I'll put that why, link why, at the end, too. Why was that? Did that sound like yeah. Well, because we were letting it dry, and then I found it, and then I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. We discover things under that board all the time. Yes. So, I was just absolutely so in love with this piece of eco-dyed book paper, or it's a book page had the coolest feel to it and I think maybe that's just part of the process or that it is kind of an older book page I don't know but it felt great love the colors on it so Louisa Heinzel in her sage and yellow it's very signature Louisa coloring so I thought of course to stick with that and um, it was pretty easy for me to do because I, I very much like this kind of teal to sage type color the, this is one of the little tags she sent along. I believe it is from one, well, it is from one of her printable sets. I can't remember exactly which one, but I do think we've actually used that set before. So it's probably either like the dragonflies or one of the flower ones. It's that little tag, but check her papers out. You can check her channel out. We'll have links below. And decided to use the envelope as well. Oh, well, I, I applaud that. Yeah. It had some great little, you know, stenciling and all kinds of stuff on it. So well, I always say, I even say boring ones. Yeah. Because they have, especially the ones that come from overseas, they have, you know, neat stamps, yeah. markings. Did you see all that little collage work there? Uh, that was impressive, yes. See that's stuff P doesn't really like. She's not a she's not a a little collager. <laughs> just, yeah, I would like to rip big pieces and yeah. parts. So I'm fixing to do some. And look at that. That was the other thing that was really wonderful about that book page stuff is how well it took the ink but yet really kept the eco printing on it. Because that actually freaked me out. I was like, oh gosh, I think I put that down too soon. <laughs> it's like that could be bad. But it didn't, you know. So, so sometimes these things happen. Yeah. And I really wasn't sure where that little card, <laughs> like what it is, because it's in German, in the back on the back of it. But I liked whatever it said, so I wasn't gonna stick it down anywhere. A little readjustment of my camera. Oof. Yeah. Whoa. And then P handed me this thing. Well, she left it on my area overnight and then I'm like what am I supposed to do with this this does not even work she's like this one little spot or maybe you know one or two of these spots and I'm like okay that makes more sense 
But it was very cool because it looks like a gazing ball. It does. It, it cha We were just discussing right before we started the video here, or the voiceover, that yeah, <laughs> the color I, has I'm changed it right slightly. Now. It is a little less purpley, a little more orangey. I wish you got a close-up of that because it, it's really most remarkable. Well, wait until the end. Oh. Stay tuned. Jeez. We're just a couple minutes in. <laughs> She's already <laughs> ready to hop to the end. Jeez, if you're feeling inspired, please go ahead and like this video at this point in time. Like the channel if you haven't. You might want to wait till the end. <laughs> yeah. like this, this is don't, just... yeah, don't, don't give us a thumbs down right now. She promises we're going to see close-ups of this stuff. <laughs> just hang in there. Hang in there. Or, you know, you can fast forward this and, you know, turn off the sound. These are all options. They are. Very much so. I mean, we do One do. of the reasons I don't like to watch lives, I've tried to fast forward it before, it doesn't work. <sighs> she meant live lives. Yeah, She'll watch know, the replay. The, yeah, <laughs> I, I will. Because, you know, I, I just, I have a, a attention span of a four-year-old. That's why Izzy and I get along pretty well. Pretty much. Oh, is that the <laughs> tutor off there? Oh, well, you back into the video now? Yeah, I am. Okay, I'm, good I'm deal. Back. <laughs> I'm done looking at your tear, tearing your the real thing apart over here. You put it back together. That was more of the book page. I tell you what, I made that one little book page go a long way. Hey, this is the one thing that I will say for Mariah. You can hand her small bits of stuff, and I mean, she can stretch that yeah into half a mile, <laughs> <laughs> or make some other pieces that look like that thing. Very good yes. at that reproduction. Uh, you work. should see the little <laughs> tiny things that she sa saves. It, it is kind of ridiculous. I was going through some. Now of those. see, look at that little piece out there. Who would save that? Yeah, I, it, I have one. bags of it. <laughs> it's in my cubby hole. We should have just sent some, sent some of that stuff to Lori Murray. Yeah, well, that's kind of what we did send to her. Well, I guess it was some of it. I tell you what, if you really are interested but in my a pieces bag, are of, all bigger than yours. Yeah, you are. You're a big scrapper. Um. If you are interested in scraps and maybe want to do a scrap challenge with us, comment below. And I'm going to get involved more in the other one. This this one was kind of I was busy. What was I doing? I was off. I was make. I was getting ready for the next live. Yes, she she has to do. That's her job during the week. So I really wasn't that involved. In what this. I was doing there with the markers is there was a green that was. This was the envelope that you see over oh, there off to the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That and, you keep pulling out and putting over there. Yeah, because I was like, I, I really kept wanting to use it, but that green was just screaming at me because it just was not the right green. I mean, even though I have quite a variety. And now one of the other things you see there is there's that tag. It also has some very dark pieces on it, which is, again, is more repetition. So I was starting to bring in other pieces um, to, to then eventually get to the point of being able to even use that envelope with the black on it. I also considered doing like a, a, a spray or something over the black to wash it out like with a picket fence or something like mm -hmm. that. Oh, you did use some other pieces. I did. One of the other little tags. I tell you, you know, I loved those tags because they were obviously again in the right color range but some of that stuff is a little bit uh kitschy for me like that's just not my style but i did like i like the colors i like some of the prints and patterns i love the shiny gold stuff especially like one has like kind of flecked little gold pieces on it and it's sort of embossed so all i needed to do was kind of cover up the different pieces that didn't makes sense mainly the wording and such because it just even though I did sort of have a C theme because I, I tried to repeat that throughout oh yes thus the the pearl or the gazing ball thing yeah that went really well and then um in a very nautical nature <laughs> Well, it's, kind it's of, not naughty it's, by it's, nature. It's nautical by nature. <laughs> it's also sea foamy. She doesn't get the reference yeah, of that. Some of you guys will comment below if you got that and thought it was funny. I thought it was really corny. <laughs> it's because she doesn't understand. <laughs> it's fine. Anyways. So. 
I wanted to make sure and see look at the, my little message in a bottle type thing and that was the note that Louisa wrote on the envelope saying that these were the pieces and this is what we were doing with the uh, little swap took some little scraps off of the now I think that what I used for the the wrap the closure isn't that um, it's kind of like furniture uh, upholstery. Yes, upholstery yeah it was it's trim that goes around it's it. very soft and silky I love it I it was a little tricky really, to work with really, really keeping really. the little fluffy things while sewing <laughs> but just because it has a oh and then see, I, I did that awesome little rip there I was like, ooh, but That's I also kept that and used that middle rip piece on that first panel. Oh, sorry. I missed that. I was checking out the soft, fluffy yes, she, upholstery. She, she's kind of about, you know, five seconds behind. I'm looking at the real thing here. Yeah. And if you are feeling inspired and you haven't already liked the video and done all the things, we'd really appreciate it if you did. Ring that bell. <laughs> Ring that bell. It helps us. And also, it lets you know when we're doing something. Oh, that's true. I, I rely on that quite quite a bit. Oh, there you are. So pulling, see, I did the, in the back side of a tag first because it's like, all right, you know, I still don't know if this is going to work 100%. So. Is this it? That's the one. Mm, there you it's go. very nice. Hey, like look, it. see, there's one of the gel print, um, tissue paper gel prints you gave me. So I'm thinking about how to use that one on these panels and which one I want to put it down on. Because it was a bit yellow. I, and I mean, obviously, it has, I'm repeating the yellow throughout. But I hadn't gone full force on a yellow at this point. And then I was like, ooh, well, I also need to repeat the stenciled tissue paper leaves. I did that. Now, this eco print here is actually from our friend Lisa over at Sirius Hecka because I had forgotten that Louisa sent us some and P put them away anyway. So well, that's again, what happens when you put things away. Happy Bale, another piece. Now, one from our friend Lisa. <laughs> and there we go. I'm telling you, that tish, stenciled tissue paper, I mean, one of my most favorite things. And if you, you know, I was in sort of a hurry, like it's just been kind of crazy. And so if you use both the tissue paper and eco prints, when the glue is still sort of wet, you can pull along that edge as a little tip trick and, and then you get sort of that ruffled bit now keep in mind it will also probably pull in places that you don't want it to so it, it takes a little getting used to to do that but can you put your ruler down there i didn't want that i don't want a straight edge i wanted it to be my, rough my ruler i don't like that one you do oh. she has a deckled edge ruler and she's always trying to get me to use it works really well. It has a very uniform deckledness. I don't like it. Now, did you like what I did there? Because I needed it to be more yellow. Yellow, yellow. I sprayed the yellow down, and I think that was our mix, our crazy mix. Don't always trust what you see in the bottle, y'all. <laughs> Sometimes I'll label them. Sometimes, Sometimes she I does. Know. But yeah, it's like a delusions, distress mixture. I think I saw, I think it has a bit of Seth in there too, because I ran out of yellow. Mm. So there you go, a little, little Seth after eye zinc <laughs> spray, you know. Now this was one of the little pieces from the book page, and I decided I was going to go for a little bit of a butterfly effect. I kept really wanting to use that green ribbon. That was just was not in the right, and I really wanted to use that. But then I was like, it's kind of big. It's like a little glass mm. thing. And it would have looked really cool, but it was just too bulky. Again, size. Size is... It, scale. <laughs> scale. Size relationships. I 
I just, it it's really. Like big bows on baby sets. Pets, I, yeah. Now that, that's just a personal thing, you know. Yeah, you don't comment, like don't don't be mad. We, we have a bow to head ratio that we, we think is proper. It's just us. Yeah. We are not. But other people are certainly entitled to the big, big bows. bows. We, we are not big bow people. And I don't like putting elastic things around my baby head. I, I don't like wearing like elastic tight anyway. I don't want that on my head, so I can't imagine. Oh man, we are rambling. Ooh, don't don't, don't ooh, comment. That's really fast, fast ripping there, Mariah. Well, I this, <laughs> this, this could have been a two-hour video easily. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Tried to. Did you spend about a week on this. Yeah. Of course, that wasn't like constant. That was like no. That was a PM. Yes, this was very PM in the, in the PM, PM. <laughs> because I've been doing a lot of you know day work, <laughs> you know my job. Really, and bill so the lights stay on. Yes, I had a lot of cloudy weather, so that's a factor. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, this was um, so this little piece is from our friend Peg. It was in last bit of a happy mail that she had. Well, not last because she sent us some really cool. Cyanotypes? Cyanotypes. Cyanotypes. I don't know why I struggle with that. Really, I shouldn't. And I was bound and determined to use both parts of that little butterfly, but I think the other <laughs> wing ended up in Izzy's well, little she, hands, and uh -huh. who knows where it went from there. I think. Pretty sure I didn't get to use the other piece of it. Oh, and what I did there is I stuffed a little acetate sheet underneath while it dried overnight to flatten out because the last time I let it dry it kind of warped up. So I sprayed it and made sure that it was flattened out. So here we are back like the next night doing more work to everything there. And I like to use the palette knife to just make sure all those pockets are up and especially when you're using those the, the stencil, stencil tissue paper, sometimes that gets a little reactivated and gets sticky with the sprays. Yes, Just, it, well, I think it, it activates the modern paste again. Yes. Ever so slightly, depending on the spray that you use. Yes. That's what I was saying. Yeah. That's what I meant. <laughs> I absolutely agree. I think it has happened to me. And then I used a little technique that I've seen a lot of, um, a lot of the journal ladies and people boys and girls use which is the stapler I stapled really? that little ribbon on there and then I used the stapler to create a bit of dimension and glued the little moony thing on top and it kind of huh. pops up yeah Not bad. and I went it through and it had sort of a beigey brown bottom and I wanted to bring more of the shiny gold so I used the deco arts on that little bottom of the moon part. I was kind of a dumb dumb and used the paper clip on the back side and then it started hooking into the cheesecloth on the back so I was like eh, I don't think the paper clip needs to be used there. So once again those awesome paint swatches coming in handy and little pieces from <laughs> see that I kept from our, our squares that little piece over there, the book, um, it's a dictionary page that was gel printed from our friends over on Instagram, uh, Beans and Toast. Sarah and Marla, Beans and Toast. Check them out. They do some awesome collage work. And they do funny stuff. Sometimes. They do. I think they're hilarious. P doesn't always get it. I, I don't. She has a weird sense of humor. We all I, know I that. No, I just don't, I just don't get it. I don't understand. It's, it's, it's just, you know. I, I mean, Pop I'm, culture references yeah. really get lost on. Oh, yeah. And if it has anything to do with television, yes. it. forget it. I, I have no or idea. gangster rap. I do like some of that, but I, I don't know what they're saying. I just I, you didn't get it's... my reference earlier. Was it was a gangster rap no. reference. Yes. And there we go, using blotter cloth, napkins. A bit of repetition there, plus I had just a little piece. I was also, I, I, I love that whole idea of the little cluster thing, so I'm trying to do more of those. It's that one with the with the uh, wax seal is a little cluster. I've got a little cluster with my butterfly thing. Mm -hmm. 
love the use of blotter cloth. The reason I use the glue stick with it is because it keeps it fluffy and doesn't um, darken the color. Make it flat and yeah, squish and, down and, and, and rough. And rough and very dangerous actually. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. I had another little piece of the dictionary left over and I think I'm going to use it here in just a second. I went over that, that's the tag that was blue and it was a weird blue that didn't go with any of the other blues so I had to kind of cover it up and what I had done is use the chuckle a marker just covered up a lot of the blue then I put the blotter cloth on top of it went right into the same cup look at that I mean wow. that's knowing color Voila. and how it's going to mix yes it is I, 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 I'm not that good with the sprays I, I can do that with paint but I, I don't I don't know that my, my camera got wonky I do apologize that really drives me nuts that I'll fix it here in a minute don't worry <laughs> yeah I noticed that right away at least you're going the right way <laughs> I watched the video the other day so everything was upside down that makes me nuts but you know after a while I kind of forgot I think about yeah your brain probably kind of yeah. oh I used little pieces from our cloudy seaside that's what the little starfish is <laughs> So there's one on that tag, and then I did the little, you know, half circle kind of archy tag. But see there, I'm doing the three-dimensional, and see how purple it was, and now it's almost this orangey. I see that. And then um, those were also left over from the, cloud, the Cloudy Seaside journal that I did. That was some pieces and parts that I had Mod Podged over, and I just cut out the little shells. Sideswise, they were spot on. See, look at that. Aspect ratio scale. It's all spot on. This, these right here are some butterflies left over from our very first design team project with Louisa Heinzel. Um, and I had those left over from that and decided, well, how cute would that be? Here we are doing this little swap and make with Louisa Heinzel, and I can use some pieces and parts from some old design team stuff. And look at how perfectly they go. She made butterflies out of, or flowers out of butterflies. They're butterfly flowers. Mm -hmm. Some people make mountains out of mohills. Louisa Heinzel makes flowers out of butterflies. <laughs> or vice versa, however you want. You can use that. that if you want, Louisa. <laughs> She may not understand. Like, there might be a translation thing. She'd be like, I don't really understand. She's like, you guys think you're funny, but you're really not. Sometimes we do. People keep telling us we're funny, so. This is mine. Yeah, this is yours. That's true. So she hands me this thing, and I'm like, that's really fantastic. I don't think it's going to, maybe, there's, not enough, there's there. not enough there. She's like, oh, come on, Mariah. Like she said earlier in the, the beginning of the I video. Said, That's pl there's plenty there. You, you can, can piece that together. It's like, all right. Work. This is this was my. Whenever I had some leftover paint from some project I was doing, <laughs> just, I just kind of stippled it onto this piece of, you know, the paper that I catch all the gunk on. And I on. thought it was really interesting because it had this sort of camouflagey feel to it. It's like art camouflage. But I, I really. I like it I, and at first I didn't I don't know like I think a lot of people would probably look at it and be like that does not really go with that but in the end again with repetition and a bit of color spray <laughs> there you go <laughs> I can make anything work and this took some doing I mean that was and then I decided not to run it in between the gaps just a for reasons of like just you know that that quarter inch adds up it does <laughs> so, probably a whole part i mean and i kid you not i use just about every single bit there might have been a little you know crazy bit that you know some of that purple <laughs> left over but for the most part and i was a little worried on my spraying through the through the cheesecloth but I think it turned out like matching up really nicely and, and kind of created a certain texture to it 
it all just has a seaside kind of modeling, yeah. yeah. I like it. I think it makes the other the stippling yeah pop out in certain places. Yeah. So there you go. Like not solid orange anymore. Yeah. And 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 brought some of that color, some of the colors from the other side, into it. And, and it is funny because certain sprays will activate the acrylic paints ever so slightly but they do dry back up I mean it just makes them a little bit sticky ish I think it also gives a little bit of a sheen to it yeah also it does and if there are any white places that you didn't get acrylic paint on of course that's going to and that's why I spray it from the back because I'm more likely to get it to push through yes yeah so just some things and I believe the, your stippling was all done on our white, the, our very favorite white craft paper from the roll. Yeah. Once again, I mean, that stuff, it's just, I don't think there's a project we've ever done that doesn't have some piece or part of <laughs> some yeah. white craft paper yeah, that was. We have a whole lot more. Ah, uh, yes. And like I said, you know, if you want to do one of these um, swap and makes with scraps, let us know in the comments below we would love to, i think this is gonna be our thing for a little bit do some swap and makes with people send some bags on it's gonna be like the traveling pants and i thought what would be funny is if we started like making like travel tags that we could stick on the bag and then the people could send it on to the next person and take a picture and you could just see all the different artists that uh yeah, just got the a, bag. A signature <laughs> yeah. thing. Yeah, just, you know, put your sticker on or, uh, you know, it's the suitcase, it's the luggage, it's the <laughs> thing. You know, it's, it's the traveling scraps. And it's kind of like your passport, you know, stamp. Yeah. Where it's been, where it's going, who did it. Yes, I. that's that's my vision. Hopefully this thing will kind of take off and we can all do that. That would be fun. Lori Marie did, did the one bag and she's sending it off to somebody. I think, uh... I don't know when she's picking the person. We need to check that out, but she's sending the bag of scraps off that we had uh, sent to her. So, now, this is kind of some of the little finish work that I absolutely love and adore doing. And of course, I pulled out that wool yarn, the ombre gradient. Gosh, just that stuff, I, I love it so much. There's not very many projects that I've done that don't have. <laughs> Some, Some of that, that in it. <laughs> Who knew? I love that stuff. It's beautiful. And so that's what I'm using there. And then I use a little bit of sari silk on the one tag that you see there at the top. Just finishing up the little oh cookies. <laughs> Sometimes one needs to snack. And then same stuff on here. But it was so cool because, again, because of the gr green, it faded into the blue. Got that. And so I was able, that's all the same yarn. It's just it ha it goes from like a green, blue, purple. But in between there, there are these nice grays. And I just, I love that yarn. It glues very nicely. <laughs> that's always a factor in considering. Well, I'm not a Some stitch. Of that fuzzy stuff. Yeah, the fuzzy stuff's a bit tricky. Like, I, I, I don't even mess with it. I, it just yeah. makes me spit nails. Spit nails, Chi Chi says. Now, this. What happened to that little red, red thing? Hold on. I, I lopped it off because I was like, all right, it's making me crazy. I was even though say, that. Boy, that's the only thing I see now. Yeah. And I'm going over here and I'm going, what happened to that? I don't see it. Yeah, I lopped it off. You'll see it here in a second. See? <laughs> <laughs> And there's the, that cheesecloth was from when we did our crazy boho, you know, the pelty things. <laughs> so that was some scrappy. I said some of that to Lord Yes, Lord. so that was some scrappy bits there. And then this bag that you see off to the right there, uh, well, it's sort of getting mixed up, but a lot of it is the things from Peg, and that button came from Peg. No, I didn't realize yeah. that. Peg sent us some cool stuff. Well, I do have some buttons. If y'all need buttons and you need a specific one, you just let me know. I can hook you up. <laughs> we'll 
throw it in the bag the, of scraps. It's not the right color of alcohol and get and make it. Yes, that's right. So what I'm doing there is I'm sewing in magnets. I glue them down and then I sewed them in because I don't like to put glue on top of them because that just is one more added layer and they get less, you know. Magnetic. Yes, magnety, for lack of better wording. <laughs> they don't click together anymore. And, and there you are. Voila. I believe she's done. I don't have a name for this one. Wow. Well. I don't know. Comment below if you have a name. I may have a name by I, by the I time think I. It should be spring into fall. But what about the seaside? Sp well, it's spring into fall at the seaside. It's rather long. And... I also have that on a magnet. The little little note from Louisa. Oh, really? Yeah, it comes off and on. Yeah. See. Well, look at that, and it just pops right back down there. And that little washi tape was from the envelope she sent. So was the, so was that yellow ribbon. How about that paper clip, where did that come from? Yeah, that was one of the things that she had sent. That's the other piece of the dictionary. Those were just stringy bits from, from the wrap piece. Look at how well those go together. I know, that is just amazing. Look at that layering. I, I think Louise is going to be very happy about that. Yeah. Louise, I'm still working on some of your prints. <laughs> some of them are, are looking quite And see, quite look nice. at that look crazy at, oh orange. My. I mean. I know, but it looks just fabulous. It does. I mean, I'm really glad it went that way. I, I think it's almost better. Known. Yeah. Happy accident. Yeah, because it was more like kind of pinky. Pinky purpley. Yeah, a little bit. But some of that's on the back side. Oh. And there we go. So, if you've made it this far, please <laughs> like this video and you haven't already. Leave us a comment. We ask for lots of them, so go ahead. And you know what? Subscribe if you haven't already and ring that bell. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.